welcome to Daniel workshop with another uh, small unboxing uh, like somebody was saying a new day another dollar no it's not another dollar it's another parcel I just received one from uh, a friend Yasuko from Japan and I'll be doing the unboxing with you and of course <laughs> I've ordered myself some new Whetstones. <laughs> All right, and like I said, we will be doing the unboxing together. So let's uh, open the uh, bag and let's see what we have inside. We have a box and some Japanese, uh, <laughs> what you call them, uh, sticks. These are nice. Oh, they look very nice. Thank you for the present. See? Very nice. All right. And I have here what's inside the box because I can't remember. So let's take the box apart and see what we have. Till now we have a blue box. Like I told you in my other movies, I'm planning to do a lot of these unpacking videos and how to use them because my friend Yasuko told me I have to step up my game. So we have here, let's take them out, one, two, three, four, five. I don't think we have anything here, just some bubble wrap five stones come on <laughs> just sticks to my hand hey eee. oh we have gremlins here so the box is not of interest to us just the stones one two three four five stones these are uh, natural what stones i got them from iq avenue japan I thought I thought the IQ <laughs> label is there, but it's not. Uh, I think I forgot to tell you. If you are here for the first time, my name is Daniel, and I'm into, and you are in, into my workshop, of course. You saw it, Daniel workshop, and here uh, I'm doing some kind of all, all sorts of sharpening. I'm talking about uh, uh, wet stones, things like that. So if you want, you can subscribe. <laughs> And you can see more more about sharpening, about uh, scissors, I'm doing scissors, I'm doing some kind of woodworking, uh, things like that. Alright, so I've ordered a bunch of stones from my friend uh, Yasuko from Aiki iq avenue japan i'll leave you the link on the bottom of it and this is the first one that we, we are going to unpack come with this uh with this nice uh, paper i don't want to cut it because like i told you in my previous movie uh video sorry my previous video my daughter started origami <laughs> so she made me promise i'll save all this paper for her so she can make origami so yes and this is the the packing uh, i wanted to unpack it so you can see how they send the stones you saw also the other day the synthetic ones wow this is so nice this is nice and huge four times yeah okay this is uh wakasa asagi which means light yellow seems kind of greenish to me but <laughs> whatever it's a level four and it's a eight thousand grit stone this is a copa stone and let me get the the measurement tool it's about 18 centimeters here from one one end to another and here it's about 15 centimeters and it's seven centimeters by five and a half um, I have a big problems. I have a big, 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 big problem. 
you know what's happening? I'm buying stones and and my I mean with the with the purpose to sell them. But by the time I get them, <laughs> I find them so freaking nice that I can't sell them anymore. And I don't I don't think I can sell this one. Let me show you the other stones that I have still from IQ Japan. Um Iwasaki, Avasegdo, Shobudani, another Shobudani, <laughs> Nakayama, another Nakayama, uh, Shobudani uh, Nagura stone, and another small Shobudani. And let me show you some more <laughs> because I, I have more. All bought from IQ Japan, IQ Avenue Japan. And I have all of these, but this will be for sell, to be sell. Okay. <laughs> all uh, Iwatani, uh, sorry, Shobudani. Shobudani has a specific smell. You will, you will feel it once you buy it. I just dropped my stones. Let me pause it for a second. Ooh. Surprisingly, everything was okay after I dropped it. So let's go, let's let's move forward with this unpacking. So this is the Wakasa Asagi, light yellow, they say, but like I said, to me it looks like light gray. Okay, with the with the Japanese natural stones. I mean I, I think you know by now, but if you know, don't know, I just tell you. Uh you get the name of the the mine that they mine it from in this case is the wasaki sometimes you get the color uh you get the level which means how hard the stone is and an approximate grip uh you won't you won't uh, see any the grip that they to tell you is just an approximate grip so it's not uh, uh, you can't bank it. I mean, if you buy a 10,000, yeah, it might be a 10,000, but it might be also a 15,000, or if you are unlucky, it might be a 6,000 or whatever. So natural stones, you just get the the name of the of the mine that they quarry it from. Let's put the put aside the paper for the for the origami. And this is their site, Akiu Avenue, Japan. I'll leave you a link down below. So, like I said, with the Japanese, you just uh, you just get the name of the mine of the mine that they quarried from, and a level. And the the level and the uh, this is the no. Yeah, we can we can do also this one. I know what the stone is. I just take it out. I don't think it will come out. Okay, it came out. I don't know what they put in the box, but the the, the plastic just sticks to my hand. It's like it's a uh, what's the word with the electric? It's charged, electrically charged. Ah. A pain in the in the whatever. Today is not my day. They say they secure it very very well. I'm trying to save these bags because I'll be using them when I sell the stones. If it happens, like I said, I can show you. I have plenty of them, and when I order them, I'm thinking about selling them. But when I get them and I see how nice they are, the plans plan is changing this will go into my collection that's for sure or at least i will i will have to test it and this is a yogi no shima mizuasagi which means it is a blue gray but looks very 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 similar to this one <laughs> yes okay so this is a 537 yes this is the yogi no shima mizuasagi which means blue gray 
and this one looks like blue gray and it's a level 4 same as the wakasa and it is a 6 to 8k this is very very similar with the with the nakayama that i have in dimensions but much much bet much much bigger longer and thicker so i'll be very very curious i need to let them this one not that bad but this one i feel that there is some kind of bumps here so oh yes this needs to be left the wakasa and this is the the yogi no shima <laughs> i still have to read the name this ones i've read somewhere that this is the mark of a guy that is dead now this is the way that i might be mistaken but anyway don't don't take my word for it this is a the mark of a of a guy that tests uh, stones wet stones and uh, this is the mark that he put and, it, and it's because he's dead he puts this kind of a ribbon style thing but anyway this looks like a very very nice copa ah all of them are copas which means that they should be uh, irregular shape this is kind of regular this is not kind of irregular shape because if you if you if you think about if you need to straight this up and here and here here you will lose a lot of of the stone so they they sell it as copas which means irregular stone all treated see the back of the of the stone is treated with a, a cashew nut cashew nut oil only the face is, is uh, left untouched and this is the i think this is the nakayama asagi which means light yellow and i will show you light yellow with this one because light yellow wow they are so big i might sell my <laughs> my nakayama the other nakayama wow i didn't realize when when she sent me the the details that the stones will be that big i mean she she told me actually she wrote me and she said that the stones this log they are kind of they are kind of big but i didn't realize they are so big and so nice of course and this is the nakayama asagi nakayama uh, for me till now nakayama are the best stones for finishing razors and this is for me also the shobudani is a finishing stone but with shobudani i like the finish of the shobudani but shobudani compared it with the with the nakayami nakayama is a little slower wow this is a huge one and this is the 884 844 yeah this is the one this is the nakayama asagi uh 4.5 in hardness and about 10,000 in um, in uh, finishing now this needs to be left too so okay asagi both of them are asagi this is another nakayama that i have which is yellow i mean this is yellow and this is kind of grayish in color but still nakayama asagi level six oh i didn't i didn't give you the measurements with this one with the with the with the yogi noshima and this nakayama this is 24 centimeters long wow it's a huge one and this is 21 centimeters by three and a half here to four there and this one is five to five and a half wow this is huge this nakayama is huge it has a kind of a bump here but needs to be lapped this one too yes and here also it's to be left but huge stone i mean wow all right so let's move to the other one yeah you can see only 
and let's pull them okay 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 this one will leave it last this one uh this one is sure i'll be selling it because this one <laughs> i don't like so much the the shape of it but quite quite nice of a stone quite quite nice stone we'll see in a second it's still a should be a nakayama asagi light yellow Hey, they pack it very nice, very, very good. I mean, somebody takes the time. I mean, you can imagine wrapping it in a, <laughs> in a tissue paper. Then they put this uh, colorful uh, paper, origami paper, and then they put the bag. And all of, all of it is, uh, <laughs> is uh, wrapped together using uh, scotch tape. some time also to unpack it and it's out all right oh almost dropped this one too and this one seems uh, to be a sister of this one same nakayama sagi 21 centimeter long by five centimeter uh, wide here kind of thick stones two and a half centimeters then Nakayama that I have is not as thick, quite a nice, quite a nice stone. So yeah, this this being a sister of this one, they look very very similar. This will be sold See here. I don't think there is a problem there. Yeah, this one is to be left to before use all right and i saved the best for last and i hope i'm not disappointed with this one because i only see pictures with this one and i love the pictures and this one is a nakayama iromono which means stone with colors and like i said uh, all these uh, japanese stones they just tell you the the mine so the mine for these three ones is nakayama mine this is Yaginoshima and this is the Wakasa and this one is the smallest of the of the lot I oh, know not the smallest but still it's not very big and like I said it's a Nakayama Iromono which means stone with colors so let's see the colors colors of the rainbow there was a there was a song and i think they were saying the colors of the rainbow but whatever whatever and this is the nakayama iromono see there, there is a strike of red here in the middle of course it needs to be left but looks very very nice and this one is about 18 centimeters long by six centimeters wide here here on the top is about five centimeters mm, i was planning to use this because i need to refresh one of my my razors tonight but i can't because first i need to lap it so what i do now <laughs> after i finish this movie which will be in about a few seconds i'm going to go and lap this stone so this is a uh, 570 grams stone okay nakayama iromono with colors uh level four and a half in hardness and it's uh it's same as the other two about 10 uh, 10 000 in uh, in uh, finishing so this is it uh these are all my uh, this is the stones from this lot for till now <laughs> only this one will be sold the others <laughs> i might keep uh, uh yasuko was telling me that i might get a very very good price for them because they are quite big stones but she forgot that <laughs> i kind of keep them i don't sell them this i don't think i will sell this i might this for sure not so <laughs> 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. I might do, not buy any stones because I have a very, very bad habit of keeping them. <laughs> see? Tana. Tana. <laughs> Can you see them? Another one. And another one. And another one. And of course, a small Nagura. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. If you, if you like this movie, of course, don't uh, you I mean if you like this movie you can of course hit the the like button subscribe comment whatever and till next time have a nice day uh, I'll leave you the link if you want to 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 buy uh, natural uh, sharpening stones from Japan uh, when you send them the email just tell them that you saw presentation on Daniel workshop and you want to buy some stones and of course they will be very happy to sell you one so till next time have a nice day and take care